21st of February 2020, an awesome, absolutely awesome day in St. Petersburg, Russia. Probably uh, the best so far this year. It is obvious that uh, the winter will never come this season, but the spring is definitely coming and it's great. Today it's no windy, today it's warm and uh, a lot of sun in St. Petersburg. Uh, one of the most frequent complaints that you guys have to me that I show uh, many uh, tourist places. But you know, in the same time, tourist places, this is actually a uh, quintessence of uh, the history and the culture of people that is living here, at least in St. Petersburg. And uh, I'm trying to mix it up. Uh, an ordinary life without knowing the history and the culture of people makes no sense. Well, anyway, today I came here to show you not a tourist place. I am now in the Admiralty district of uh, St. Petersburg, which is bordering with the central district. But this is uh, an industrial area. This is a former factory, beer brewery factory named after Stepan Razin, built yet in 1795. Now, in this former building of the factory, there's a new awesome place which is called Celeris, Celeris Lab. This is like cafe and art space there where mostly only local people are coming. Well, they are welcome to everyone, but just, you know, tourists usually never coming here. That's it. So let's get inside. The place which is called Celeris Lab. Celeris. It's Latin for sunny, for something related to the solar energy, for the energy of the sun. In Russia it is also very well known as 1972 science fiction drama. It's a movie filmed by one of the most unusual, significant and great Soviet directors Andrei Tarkovsky, actually famous all over the world because his uh, style became an inspiration for so many directors all over the world, including uh, Hollywood. One of the features that was so inherent for Tarkovsky is a long one-camera shots with no cuts. So now, as an homage, uh, as uh, their respect to Andrei Tarkovsky, I now feel the entrance to Celeris with one long shot, but also because it just makes sense here. This is definitely the coolest and longest entrance to anywhere I have visited before so far. First off, you get to the hallway with such a great flight of stairways. Already here you immediately get an awesome feel of the history of this place. Such an old places have a charm which newly made buildings just cannot have. Even if uh, they will be made to look old, anyway, there will be enough of things. You can tell that this is a newly made, newly made buildings. Because you can't just fake an environment which was formed naturally for many, many years. In this case, for like 200 years. No way. Open the door at the fourth floor. Go inside. Celeris Lab is not just a cafe, but it's an art space. And uh, this is the uh, gallery, the place for a gallery where from time to time, but they will organize different arts exhibits and performances. The closest exhibit begins at the 26th of uh, February and will be called the factories are not staying, like means not staying at the same place. This is gonna be a, a collection of uh, brutal and creative pictures of uh, industrial factories and uh, the factory life. Now, then we go to a narrow corridor, which looks so fantastic and a little bit scary, but it's cool. 
here it seems like it's uh, an emergency hallway and uh, narrow staircases and uh, you go even higher here to the rooftop So welcome to Solaris Lab. It's a loft. It's something what we definitely can describe as a loft. I mean the interior. It's a minimal restoration of what it was here before. Not too big, not too small cafe, which is full of light because here is the windows like everywhere, 360. And uh, the light, just a natural light from the streets comes in. And especially I love those illuminators, round four windows. <laughs> Only a quality electronic music sounds here, like an ambience and lo-fi. And uh, every weekend, every weekend nights, here goes a full featured parties. Salaris, Salaris Lab, powered by an old school guys who follow for the best of uh, an old school traditions. That's why at the, the DJ place here is, uh, you can find only a true Technics 1210 turntables. Nobody's gonna play a shitty MP3 here. Nobody. And decoration you can find and elements of woods because Solaris is uh, part of wooden brotherhoods who admits the authority of nature, the power of woods, uh, the force of fire and things like that.
I love it when uh, the restaurants and cafe and bars they have the paper because it's way more hygienic than the dryers. I have ordered coffee latte and mango cheesecake and I have paid 500 rubles for this which is 8 bucks, 8 bucks. And finally, as the cherry on a cake, their own rooftop there. All the visitors can get there absolutely free. Let's go and see on a central district and the Admiralty District of St. Petersburg. Yeah, baby. Wow. Look what is sunshine today. The spring is coming. Being here, you realize it's even stronger what a top-notch location is here. It's actually the border of the Central District and Admiralty Districts of uh, St. Petersburg. From one side, it is a residential blocks with the domes of the most significant churches like St. Isaac's Cathedral and Trinity Cathedral. From another, it's a brutal industrial, uh, industrial zone. The factories and shore the uh, cargo sea ports with all those cranes and panorama of uh, Neva River exactly in that place where it turns to the Gulf of Finland. In the nearest future, on the rooftop here will be uh, constructed a folding spherical sky-fi looking dome with a flow of lights inside. It's gonna be awesome because I can say this because I saw uh, what uh, what's that dome was in the previous celery slab place okay dudes hope you enjoyed one more exclusive video from saint petersburg and uh, one more idea of where you can go when you're here in the northern capital of russia uh comment like subscribe really do this if you love my channel because uh, this activity pump the positions of my channel in and search and uh, keep supporting keep supporting my channel's Patreon see you